the incident uh, that took place today in uh, Dura, uh, outside the CM Secretariat and the Commissioner of Provisions Office, uh, is uh, indeed very, very unfortunate. We had uh, discussed with uh, one or two of the groups and NGOs who had concerns and were having uh, fasting for the last uh, uh, many, many days. And uh, while uh, discussions were going on, uh, we had already agreed on uh, finally a uh, meeting in Shillong uh, and discussing this further with all different stakeholders because uh, the concerns that they have are affecting uh, many communities and affecting the overall state as a whole. And hence, uh, these kind of decisions require more consultation. And uh, in the meantime, of course, other development aspects and other works that we have initiated, those would uh, continue at a fast pace. And those matters are discussed. And more or less, uh, these uh, NGOs uh, who had these concerns uh, were more or less satisfied. And I also would like to stress that uh, the majority of the stakeholders, civil society and the NGOs uh, were not part of this uh, fasting that took place. There were just two organizations or maximum three organizations that were in this, but 90% of the organizations were not part of this. So even then, I felt it appropriate and I've always believed that uh, dialogue is important and hence I made it a point to uh, meet them and uh, that was the, what was decided and uh, so while we discussed everything after the uh, discussion was uh, almost over uh, we heard some uh, agitation and some sloganing from outside and uh, I asked some of the people to go and speak to the people and to their people and tell them to control and uh, not to create any kind of uh, scene out here. But uh, once the leaders, the NGO leaders had gone outside to talk to these people, uh, they came back to t tell us that uh, they have no idea who these people are. They have never seen them here before. For the last 14 days since they have been here sitting and uh, having this fasting, uh, they didn't see these people and today for the first time they've come and some of them even looked, uh, you know, in, uh, intoxicated and not really uh, in the correct uh, senses in some sense. And, uh, and this was just said not by me but by the NGO leaders themselves. And, um, and then after that, uh, uh, they, the NGO leaders themselves then uh, uh, had to come in to the building and they could not leave from here themselves. And even now they are uh, in one of the rooms. They are not able to go because uh, they are also worried and uh, it seems that uh, these people who are there uh, are people who are not uh, part of their organization. So we have a full video recording and the details of all the people who have instigated and uh, definitely uh, as per law, uh, necessary action uh, will be taken from the police side. and. Uh, also, as I said, uh, we had asked the organizations to come and meet us, but uh, it is sad that uh, while we took the initiative to come and speak to them and try to find a resolution to this, uh, you know, this is a kind of uh, unexpected situation that has unfolded. But nonetheless, uh, the police has controlled the situation. Uh, we had some incidents where, uh, because of the store painting, uh, without any, any instigation from the police, uh, almost close to five police, police personnel were quite seriously injured and few other minor injuries also were there. And uh, from my side, uh, I have uh, decided that uh, I'll be giving 50,000 rupees as medical uh, allowance to each one of them from my CMSG scheme. All those who are injured, the police who are injured, and uh, whatever the medical expenditures are there will be completely borne by the government. Uh, at the same time, as I said, we condemn this kind of an action and uh, this is not something that uh, Garo Hills has uh, experienced and whatever we have seen uh, seems to be uh, another plan by uh, some other individuals. As I said, even the NGOs who were in this have already said that uh, they are uh, not part of this and uh, they are not aware of the individuals who have been involved. Uh, and as I said, we have recordings, so accordingly, we will take action.